welcome. Today I have for you an unboxing for the Hero Arts April 2019, my monthly hero kit. This is one of my favorite things ever to get every month. I, they're a lot of fun. Uh, hero Arts, if you visit their website, and I'll have links down below, the kit is available to subscribe to, and also if you are quick enough, uh, you can purchase each kit uh, a la carte monthly as you like. The kits are previewed every Monday of the month, and you have a couple of days to purchase any of the add-ons for the kit, which will also be revealed to you in the same time that the kit is, and the kit starts shipping that Friday. If you do purchase any add-ons with your uh, kit order, they will put them in the same box and they'll ship for free. So it's kind of a really nice deal. Uh, sometimes I get add-ons, sometimes I don't. This month I don't happen to have any add-ons, but I did think some of them were kind of cool. Uh, in particular, there's a stamp set called Carnivali, which is... Uh, sort of street festival themed or maybe even Mardi Gras could be which I thought was funny because that's my maiden name and that's how you spell it too. <laughs> I'm Italian my maiden name is Carnival so I thought that was funny but I wasn't sure if I could do enough with the kit to invest in it and besides if you've watched any of my haul videos I've kind of spent a ton of money on spring stuff anyway so I'm taking a little bit of a step back from uh, purchasing frenzies <laughs> especially because even after my last haul video I didn't stop shopping and I ended up placing a waffle flower order as well. So we'll see that when it comes in. I don't have it yet. <laughs> Basically, I need to be in de-stash and save mode and not spending mode right now. Anyway, so let's go ahead and open up this kit. I have my little, I couldn't find my uh, little cutter this morning, but I do have some scissors here right next to me. My, my box. We do have a pet rabbit who loves to eat cardboard and paper, so these boxes tend to be a monthly treat for her as well. Here's a thank you card and the kit. Popping that box on the floor for the rabbit to play with. Sometimes I'll save them. They're a really good size, especially a hint for all of you who do uh, D-Stash selling, if you sell multiple sets of stamps or something to a fellow crafter, they're the perfect size to use again to mail stamp sets. So if you do D-Stashing, hang on to them. I happen to have a ton and I don't need any more right now, but however, I, have, I do have a rabbit that needs a toy. So <laughs> she doesn't like the $30 rabbit toys. She likes to eat the boxes. Go ahead and take the tissue paper off. Just an FYI, do not feed colored tissue paper to your rabbit. It has dyes in it, that's not good for them. But I will save this tissue paper and reuse it somewhere else. For now, let's get it out of the way. So let's talk about what is coming in our kit. This month, the kit is called La Vita Bella, which means life is beautiful. We have, well, let's, let's do the uh, extras first and then we'll get into the other stuff. I do save these cello bags here and reuse them. I actually have a tote, not a tote, but a basket up on my shelf here. Those come in really handy, especially if you do swaps. So definitely reuse those. So we've got da, 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 two rolls of half inch foam tape. It says, interesting. So I think mine might be a little bit different. I've got um, oh, okay, so I have a one millimeter roll and I have a two millimeter roll, which might be a little different. I wonder if they have done some substituting. I don't know. According to the website I'm looking at, it says two rolls of half, half inch foam tape, 2.2 yards each in two inch thickness or two, in two thickness. Oh, I'm sorry. In two thicknesses. All right. I read that completely wrong. So never mind. No substitute. So I've got sort of a thicker and then a thinner version of foam tape. I go through a ton of this. This is the year of shaker cards. So I'm always happy to have these. This is a brand that I'm not familiar with. GG Products. I think, is this German? I don't know. I don't know, maybe you can tell me. Does that look German to you? <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm unfamiliar with the, co the company. I'm feeling it through the packaging here, and it feels like a really nice, good, hardy quality tape. So I'll be glad to give that a shot and let you guys know my thoughts on it. We have a Tombow Mono Black 
drawing pen. This is fancy. Ooh, I don't, I have Tombow markers. I've, I've never even heard of this. Water-based pigment ink marker. It writes just like a pen. You could probably use it to pay your bills, <laughs> write your checks, no smudge. If anybody still writes checks, I do occasionally. <laughs> I just had to write uh, write a check to my daughter's school. Uh, then we have uh, da, 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 14 five and a half by eight and a half sheets of the new Hero Arts Hughes premium card stock. And we have two sheets of their vellum paper. I've had their vellum paper before. It's very nice. And I still have some of their envelopes left over too for my kit. A couple of months ago, you guys might recall. So maybe I'll do, maybe I'll pull those out and do something with that. But these I'm really excited about because their cardstocks, their branded cardstocks are new to them. Uh, I love their cardstock that I get in the kits. And I'm feeling this. This is so thick, guys. This purple here is called Plum. This feels like it could be a card base, thick and sturdy enough card base weight. This is sand. This does not, this feels a little bit thinner here, so I wouldn't use this as sand, but it's kind of a light, a light craft color. Let me pull out a piece of the craft that I normally use so we can compare, compare shades here. This looks a bit lighter than the craft that I normally use. Oh, I have a scrap right here of my craft. Um, and actually, Hero Arts has sent us some craft paper before from some of their kits, and it actually does resemble more like this color. So this is a nice lighter option. This is really pretty. And it's called sand, and I think this would be perfect for die cutting um, with your border dies, sand for cards and stuff. Very pretty. Uh, this is what... Uh, pumpkin. This is thick, just like the plum. This could be a card base. Mustard. Ooh, it does look like mustard. I don't like mustard. <laughs> this is a pretty color though. Also a good card base weight. This one feels a little bit thinner like the, um, like the craft. Uh, this one might be what they're calling cherry. This is also thinner. I'm guessing this is the Arctic. And then this one here, I think, is the um, Adriatic. And this one feels thick like a card base. So we've got a couple of different weights here, both layering and card base weight. Gorgeous colors. They feel wonderful. I'm sure that they'll die cut beautifully. It is Hero Arts, after all. And I've heard a lot of compliments about this stuff. So I'm really looking forward to using these. And of course, these. I'm sorry, I'm just noticing. Please forgive my nails. <laughs> We've been doing a lot of uh, spring cleaning projects around the home and my daughter's room in particular and cleaning a lot of like uh, grubby corners and stuff. And also I've been doing some playing with my um, alcohol inks and I keep getting them on my fingers. So my nails have been ruined for at least a week and I keep telling myself that I just, I'll fix my nails when I'm done <laughs> with all of those projects. <laughs> cleaning and inking. We'll fix the nails. Okay, so we've got some ribbon and I will hang on to that. This is a, like a nice brown color ribbon. And we have a four by six stamp set, so a bit smaller than what we normally get from Hero Arts, but that's okay. Because you got this enormous, ugh, that was tough. Enormous set of dies here. This is seven scenery fancy dies that you can make, use to make different buildings and water. And here's a, a little guy here and a laundry line. And then of course your stamp set here. And I might be Italian by birth, but I did not speak it and can't pronounce, <laughs> can't pronounce anything. Let me get that piece of solid paper here and I'll slip it underneath so maybe you can see it a little bit better. Uh, buongiorno, thank you, wishing you the best. I don't know how to say that one. Ciao. Tiamo, thinking of you, uh, La Vita y bel Bella, Grazie. I like this postage stamp one here. That's cool. I would probably not put that on the front of any envelope part, though. <laughs> Just in case. And I think these are some clouds to build your scenes and a little wine and some birds. These are really good birds. These are good-sized birds. I like those a lot. 
I have other card sets that I could pull that into. Oh, I like it. So um, I'm not huge. Oh, look at how beautiful this is. Um, I've never really done a lot of just straight paper piecing cards. So I have to admit I'm a little bit intimidated by it. Um, but I'm kind of, I'm eager for the challenge. Um, I don't have a heck of a lot of time this month, but so I'm going to try to just, uh, take it easy and just work on a couple of cards and see how that goes. So I'm not sure how much of a card share that I'll have for you, but looking at some of the samples, excuse me, from the sneak previews, it looks like this is going to be well suited to watercoloring. And I have that new set of, um, Gonzai Tombi watercolors. So I was thinking of whipping those out. Uh, and getting them swatched out and playing with those and working on some backgrounds and some paper piecing. So uh, I'm really looking forward to that um, and, and doing some experimenting. So wish me luck <laughs> and let me know what you plan to do with the kit. And I hope that you have enjoyed the unboxing. And as always, thank you so much. And I'm going to have links available for you down below. They are affiliate links. If you decide to make a purchase, I do appreciate if you use my links because I do get a little bit of a commission earned. And the commission money is what I use to turn around and do giveaways on my channel. So it is much appreciated. I am able to do a lot more every year because people every year more and more people click the link so I appreciate that very much and I do have a giveaway that's going to be happening on my channel later this month so stay tuned thank you very much take care and until next time bye